Day eight. Hey, do you ever just look at your Google Drive and want to close it up because it's so hard to find things that you might be looking for? Well, Google's been working really hard to make our searches easier for us. I've got a few tips and tricks for you here. The first one I'm going to start with is this recent right there. This is so fantastic. It outlines things from today, earlier this month, and then it goes right on down to earlier this year and so on. But here's what I love about it. If I know I've worked on something and I can't for the life of me remember what I named it, I go check my recent because I've probably worked on it in the last week, two weeks, or three weeks to a month. So that's my first start. The next is then I come right back up to my drive and right up here at the top, it says search in drive. This is where a lot of us just go and we just start typing in something we think we may have named something or a word that might be involved. But have you ever noticed these three lines right here? This is where the magic happens. Right up here, when I click these three lines, I get a treasure trove of options for searching. The first one here that is most significant is the type. It could, you, maybe you're looking for a document. Maybe you're looking for a presentation or some drawings or a folder maybe that you put in there. Determine which type you want. So I'm going to go specifically to a presentation. Right here, this next one is also extremely helpful. If it's owned by you, make sure you mark that because that way it's going to look for anything that you created and it's going to filter out anything that is not owned by you or any other specific people. I'm going to leave my location at anywhere because I don't know where I put it. I'm not going to do anything about any approvals. This date modified is fantastic because it could be something I worked on yesterday, today, last seven days, 30 days, anytime. I'm going to go with the last 30 days. And then the item name. This is really important for you to notice. This is the name of the item. This is what we're having a problem with. We don't remember what we named it. So what we're going to do is come right down here and we're going to look for any words found in the file. So I'm working on stocking stuffers right now. So I'm going to use the word stocking. And then right here, I haven't shared this to anybody, but if you know you shared it with someone, you could add that in there. And if you had created a follow-up date, you could add that right here. So let's click search and see what comes back. And so now I have two things that have come back to me that have the word stocking in it, and they are both presentations looking right up here at the string that it looked for. Most significant to me was presentation and the word stocking. So just think how much more quickly you can find things now in your Google Drive. Sometimes our Google Drives end up kind of like a junk drawer in the kitchen where we just kind of dump things. Make sure you teach your students how to do this too because they will be able to find things much more easily. Happy holidays to you and yours.